this video on Fusion 360 and how we can apply materials and appearances to your components and your models. You'll notice that there's a default setting, mine is at steel. So if I go to modify material, physical material, click on my component, you'll see that this one here says it's steel. You'll notice that there's a there's two bars, two sort of slide bars here, slide this one all the way down. You can see all the materials that are available. I want mine to be plastic. I want it to be type of polyethylene. Polystyrene. Let's go with high impact polystyrene. Let's drag that in. You can see that the color slightly changed, and up here at the top, we should now have two materials. And this one, if you right click on it, you can unassign and delete and so on. So let's see if that will work. Oh, that hasn't worked. So just drag this one back on. So now it is high impact polystyrene. I think this is the default one, so it stays there the whole time. I haven't found a way to get rid of it yet. So at the moment it's high impact polystyrene, but it's not the colour I want. I want it to be green, sort of glossy green. So what I need to do is to go to modify appearance. You'll see that A on your keyboard is the shortcut key for appearance. And over here you'll see all of the Fusion 360 appearances that you can work through. Again, slide this bar all the way down. You can work through, you can go to plastics. Choose a particular color, so translucent, transparent, textured. So you can go for a skin, polka dot. We're just going to go for a glossy green enamel paint look. So once we're happy with that, we can close that. Now to check whether or not this is going to come out correctly on our engineering drawings and whether it's been applied correctly, we can just produce a very quick draft drawing, so new drawing from design. Don't worry too much, we're just going in to check that the appearance and material are set as we wanted them to be. Let's double check, make this shaded with edges, put that onto there. So you can see it's green and it's glossy, you can see the way the light's catching it. So now what we need to do is put a table in, it will tell us what material it is. So you can see polystyrene, high impact polystyrene, just the bloom reference number one. So that is how we set the appearance and materials for our components.